hope you're all really, really well today. Today I'm going to talk about my January favourites. I haven't done a favourites video in a little while, but these are just some of my most loved, most used products of the last while. So to start off, I'm going to talk about the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. This um, I got when I was in Ireland and I think it was about €7 Euro, and I am blown away by it. I have it on today. I don't know if you can see it on my cheekbone and kind of on my nose there but this is a really intense highlight what I like to do is grab a fan brush and kind of mix these two bottom shades I haven't used the lilac or the cream but I mix the kind of yellow and peachy colors at the bottom together and dust that on the tops of my cheekbones and whoa like you can go so full-on highlighted with this stuff it's incredible it is a really intense highlight but if you use a little bit and really like use that fan brush to buff it out it can look so stunning like just insane and if you're going for the really like strong look you can use a more dense brush to put it on it's just a really impressive product for like seven or eight euro i have some high-end highlighters that don't give off the glow that this does so if you can get your hands on it do i got it about three weeks ago in ireland and i know it's limited edition and i know there aren't that many around but if you can get it try and maybe we can petition for sleek to put it out as a long-term product and not a limited edition one i just i don't know i thought it was so good next up i have the stila eyes are the window shadow palette in the shade spirit so this is a 4812 eyeshadow palette and you get some really nice golden neutral tones for every day yes luna that cat has been meowing non-stop for the last 12 hours and I don't know what's wrong with her. Yes, yes. So in this palette you get lots of really nice wearable tones. You get some light ones for the day, really gold, champagne -y kind of shades, moving on to some warmer shades and some darker ones for the evening. They can be worn in trios across the way or you can mix and match whichever way you like. I really like Stila eyeshadows. I feel like they're really good quality. The blendability is amazing on them and the pigmentation as well. And I just really like this palette. I feel like any girl who got this would find so many uses for it. And I've been really enjoying using it. And of course it has Kitten in there as well that you can use for highlighting. And it is one of the most buttery, stunning eyeshadows ever. I absolutely love it. Next, I have been using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick in the shade number 8 Walnut. I love this. I've been using it for contouring slash cream bronzing for so long. I found it when I curated Meyer's Spring Summer Beauty Magazine for them and I have not stopped using it since. It's basically a nice kind of light to medium coverage foundation that I just picked up in a really dark shade and I use it on my face for cream contouring. That's about it. Um, it's quite warm so it is more of like a contouring slash bronzing look but I don't mind that I don't really feel the need to go super grey with my contour all the time I just love it it blends out so beautifully with the beauty blender and the pigment really stays on the skin so that sculpting and definition really stays on your face and I just love how it makes my skin look I used it in my recent Gigi Hadid Victoria's Secret look so if you want to see it in action check it out there such a good product I have been wearing the same lip combo all month and probably for longer than a month at this stage but every time I post a selfie or a video everyone's like what's on your lips and this is probably it at the moment it is the MAC Whirl lip liner which is a really nice kind of brown nude pink shade it's gorgeous along with that I use the lipstick faux they actually have a lipstick in the shade whirl as well but I don't like it I feel like it's too dark I much prefer the shade faux with this lip liner it's just slightly more pinky and I feel like they blend together better than having a lipstick on top of a dark lip liner that gives you like a really brown lip I just love how this looks it's what I have on today and it's just the perfect everyday pinky brownie nude color. I'm just obsessed with it. You have probably seen me use this product so much lately. It is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I used to obsess over the under eye setting powder, but more recently, phone. But more recently, I have been absolutely loving the translucent powder. I use my beauty blender to grab a lot of this. I'm not gonna open it because it basically just looks like a white powder. I use my beauty blender after my foundation to pack this underneath my eyes and in the area 
areas I want to highlight my face and then I will lightly dust over the rest of my face with a big powder brush and then when I leave the powder under my eyes to set for a few minutes I'll then brush it away kind of like baking but not quite as extreme and it just sets my makeup so well it stops it from moving sliding creasing and it doesn't add any cakiness or coverage it is just taking out that moisture and setting the skin such a fantastic product and I use quite a lot and it looks like it hasn't even been touched like it's still pretty much full you get 29 grams of product so that's quite a lot 100% recommend definitely pick it up if you're looking for a setting powder when I was in Ireland in January my skin was feeling quite dry just from the much colder weather it snowed when I was there it was like a shock to the system so to keep my skin feeling nice and kind of hydrated and glowy I used the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. This is just a really nice light hydrating primer. It gives you just kind of like plumps up your skin. It gives your skin a good drink before you put on your foundation and I have kind of like normal combination skin. My skin is changing a lot lately. It's quite hard to say what type of skin I have but it's not overly oily, it's not overly dry. I would say it's like normal to combination sometimes. And I love this, it doesn't make me greasy or anything. If your skin feels a little bit dull or thirsty, I would definitely give this a go, I love it. The foundation that I was usually wearing with that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I never tried the original formula of this, but I really like this one. It's a really light foundation. When I apply this with a damp beauty blender, it looks so skin-like and so natural on my skin. but it really covers up a number of sins. I used it on my friend for her engagement party while I was in Ireland. Hi Terry. And um, she had a lot of redness. Can you hear my neighbors flushing their toilet? Why? Why would you do this? I used it on my friend Terry who had quite a lot of redness on her face that day because she was nervous. It was her engagement party. And the minute I applied it over her redness, it just covered that like kind of deep rosacea look and it looked beautiful on her. This is the shade 120, which I find is a really good kind of like light fake tan shade for me. I'm trying to think of what else to say about it. I feel like it lasts really well on my skin as well. I love using this also when I know I'm going to be layering quite a lot of product. So you know when you're going out in the evening and you're gonna put on some cream contour, you're gonna put on concealer, you wanna put on powder, you're gonna be layering a lot of product. You don't wanna start with a really heavy foundation, but you also want your foundation to give you a nice coverage base to start with. This feels like a very light foundation, kind of like the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua, but it gives you a lot more coverage than that. So you're starting off with a medium coverage base that feels super light so that when you layer products over the top, it doesn't feel too heavy. They're flushing their toilet again. What have I done to deserve this? This foundation gets a really big thumbs up from me and I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm a bit of a floozy when it comes to skincare. I try so much skincare on a regular basis that it's really hard for me to kind of say, this is something I love, like this is something I have used consistently for a long time. But when I find something and I use it, I find it very hard <laughs> to give it up. But this moisturizer is one thing I have fallen in love with lately. It is the Shiseido Bio Performance Glow Revival Cream. So this is a hydrating and brightening moisturizer. It's supposed to help lighten your skin pigmentation, not like bleaching or anything like that, but just really give you that kind of glow and hydration back into the skin, whilst also targeting dark spots. I love this. I feel like it has done wonders for my skin. It is really rich without feeling overly greasy. It's got a really pleasant light scent to it. Nothing, nothing too much at all. It just makes my skin feel so good. It sits so well under makeup and it is one of the only moisturizers in the last couple of years that I've really dedicated myself to. I have used this nonstop for probably the last six weeks and I have seen such a big improvement in my skin hydration and just overall tone and texture and smoothness and I feel like a lot of my skin pigmentation has lightened as well. I really like this entire range, the Bio Performance range that came out, but this was the one product in it that captured my heart, but I would definitely recommend checking out the serums and eye creams that come along with it. I genuinely love the whole range, so that is a really, really big thumbs up for me. And lastly, you've probably seen me use this heaps lately, but this is the Lancome, Lancome Grandiose Mascara. 
this is so good it's got a really weird wand it kind of looks like a swan neck or something but I just feel like it's really good at getting into the lashes. Every time I wear it, people comment on my lashes. When I'm applying it, you can really see the difference. I think I've used it in my last two makeup tutorials if you wanna see it going on the eyelashes. I'm not usually one to promote luxurious mascaras because I feel like the ones from the drugstore really are on par. They do so, so well and I don't think it's necessarily important to splurge on mascara. I feel like it is one area where you can save money, but I do really, really like this. What I would compare it to, the closest thing I've seen to this would be Benefit Roller Lash, which also is a little bit pricier. I don't know which one is more expensive, but I think I like this one ever so slightly more than Roller Lash. Roller Lash smudges on me quite a lot, even though it gives an incredible lash effect. So this definitely comes up on top and it just makes my lashes look amazing. So if you are in the market for a high-end mascara, this is one to try. So those were all my favorites. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. By subscribing, you just get a notification when I upload a new video, so you don't miss out on anything from me. So I hope you have a great rest of the day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again real soon.